Here's how the people in control play us every single day. There's this very well-known saying from the Freemasons, order out of chaos. This is a Freemason chessboard. This represents duality, good and evil, black and white, yes or no, just duality in general. And there are two opponents facing one another. When you're in the game, you think you're actually fighting one another, right? It's black versus white, evil versus good, empire versus empire. The chaos that they're creating with these battles seemingly looks like chaos. But if you were to look from a higher position and look down, you realize that they are all part of the same game and that's where the order comes out of. The people in charge have been playing this game with the general populace for thousands of years, probably even more where they make it seem like, oh, it's the Republicans versus the Democrats, it's the Communists versus the Capitalists. They're all the same people. They want you to believe that there is splitting. They want you to believe that there is duality. There is no difference. You know what the one thing that they all have in common is? They're all in charge. The more chaos these people in control create, the more order society will have. That's why the media seldom ever shows you good news. Like, it's always news about chaos, war, conflict, racism, prejudices. Not saying that those don't exist, but if you're constantly bombarded with these things on a daily basis, you will program your mind into thinking that the world is a hellhole. And this chaos that creates in your subconscious mind is going to make you more orderly towards the government. The whole point of all of this is to divide and conquer. When you, the general populace, which is billions of people, fight against each other and not come together and not become one society, the people at the tippy top will always have control over you. Because if you're not uniting and you're not getting the bigger picture, they're going to control you. Why do you think the elite, especially, for example, the royals, like the British royals, were so keen on keeping their bloodline pure? Because they want to keep things in the family. They don't want you peasants. To know the truth. They don't want you peasants to know all of the esoteric and occult knowledge that their family line has hidden. When we all unify and see that the one thing that is keeping us oppressed is the one percent, they have no chance against us. Billions of people versus like a couple hundred thousand, no game. That's why they do this whole order out of chaos chess game. They're playing chess with you right now. More and more people are waking up to this obvious scheme that they're playing. But unfortunately, there are also going to be millions of people who will never have the chance to wake up and who will always be stuck in this matrix thinking of duality, good, evil, this, that. We are all one, and that's what they don't want you to know. We are all one.